Fatal car crashes are on the rise, increasing by almost 11% last year. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says better crash tests are needed to account for the number of bigger, heavier cars that are on the roads right now. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasha digs deeper into those changes. For over two decades, the Insurance Institute has conducted crash tests where the bar was pretty much set right here. Now, it's upping the bar when it comes to side impact crashes. The side impact or T-bone crash is most common at intersections. And it's very dangerous because there's very little room in the side of the vehicle to have any kind of energy absorption in the crash. This latest round of tests are being conducted with a heavier test vehicle, which moves at higher speed because in the last 20 years, SUVs have gotten heavier and crash speeds have increased. In a case like this, what do you want to see the passenger compartment look like when there's a side impact crash? How well does that compartment remain intact, either for the driver or for the rear seat passenger? Of the 18 midsize SUVs tested, 10 received good ratings. Two were acceptable and six marginal. The VW ID4 is an example of what should happen. You can see here there was very little intrusion into the occupant compartment, and so the driver and the rear seat passenger were well protected. The Nissan Murano was one of a half dozen vehicles which did marginally. That's because of the significant amount of intrusion into the occupant compartment. That also resulted in a higher likelihood of both chest injury and pelvis injury for the driver. And these new tests go far and above anything that the federal government is requiring right now. If you'd like to see the detailed breakdown of these test results, I've included a link in today's web story. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprazier.